In Avengers Endgame, Captain America was worthy of using Thor's hammer. But what if I told you that you could infuse your throwing shield with Thor's lightning? And with this build, not only will you have the ability to stun quite literally every single champion in this kit without using a single artifact mod, you'll also be jolting the entire room, have amazing crowd control, and gaining an immense amount of transcendent energy at the same time. And the best part is you can use a literally any weapon that you want in end game content so if you want to find out how to do all of this make sure that you stick to the end of the video and without further ado let's get straight into the build now before we even dive deeper into the build you need this key essential piece and that is the exotic class item specifically with spirit of the contact and you might be asking, well, if I already have point contact brace and I only need one piece of this exotic class item, why don't I use it? Well, with this version of contact brace on the class item, it reads that you only need the powered melee instead of it being attached to an arc melee like the actual point contact brace. This makes it so any melee on the prismatic subclass can apply jolt. This even includes Consecration, Frenzy Blade, Shivering Strike, and all that good stuff. With that being said, let's jump into the actual Prismatic subclass. Now in terms of the super, you can literally use anything that you want. I'm choosing Twilight Arsenal because it's fun and it's a good one-off super. For my class ability, I have my class item with the version of Spirit of the Contact with Spirit of Abeyance. So I'm going to be using the actual Rally Barricade to take advantage of my class item. But if you don't have this, you can literally use any version that you want. I don't really care what jump you use. And the big thing, obviously, since we're going to be Captain America, is we want to use the Throwing Shield. Not only is this a pretty good throwing melee, but it also gives you a void overshield on top of that and gain the ability to stun barrier champions because when we hit something with this strong shield, we will gain radiant using a fragment, which I'll be talking about a little later. For the grenade, I'm going to be using shackle grenade as it's a way to stun unstoppable champions and you gain a good amount of darkest energy when you throw this out. You could use something like suppressor grenade to stun overloads if you want, but Shackle Grenade's pretty good overall. When it comes to the aspects, I'm going to be using Diamond Lance as any ability kill that you get will drop a Diamond Lance. And this Diamond Lance will also give you the ability to stun Unstoppables even more. Since it freezes them and we can shatter them. Then we're going to be using Drenger's Lash since I mentioned before that my class item has Spirit of the Abeyant. So I kind of want to take advantage of that. If you do not have that, you could honestly switch it for whatever you want, such as Knockout or whatever. Now for the first fragment, we're going to be taking Fast of Dawn. This makes it so when we get a Powered Melee hit, we gain Radiant and Powered Melee kills gives Radiant to you and your nearby allies. As I mentioned before, this forces your weapons to have barrier on them so that you are able to stun barrier champions at will without needing an artifact mod. Next, I'm going to be using Facet of Courage since your Arc, Solar, and Void abilities deal increased damage to targets afflicted with Darkness debuffs. Since we have Shackle Grenades and Diamond Lances and Drenger's Lash, I want to make sure that my Throwing Shield kills any suspended target or frozen target for survivability and a fragment I'm going to be mentioning later in the video. You could honestly swap this out if you feel like it doesn't need it, but that's just my personal pick. Next, I'm going to be using Fast of Sacrifice since when we have an Arc, Solar, or Void buff, our ability final blows will help us gain a tremendous amount of darkness energy. Shackle Grenade itself already builds a good amount. We're activating Radiant and gaining a Void Overshield, which activates this fragment. And on top of that, we're jolting everything that's suspended in there, acting like a mini Transcendent Grenade, which gives us a buttload of Transcendent energy energy and on top of that we're going to be using fast of balance as rapidly defeating targets with light damage grant melee energy and that's honestly the main part that we're using since we don't really have a lot of offensive darkness abilities and we want our melee as soon as possible since we like throwing shields or at least i hope you do then I'm going to be using Facet of Purpose as picking up an orb will give you the corresponding survivability tool based on your equipped super. Since I have Twilight Arsenal, I'm going to be gaining even more Void Overshields. As I mentioned before, if you want to use any other super to gain things like Restoration or Woven Mail or Frost Armor, feel free to do it as I'm not your boss or your mom. And last but not least, we're using Facet of Blessing as melee final blows start health regeneration and while transcendent, you gain a greater effect. Now. 
as I mentioned before, there's a pretty good chance that you're going to get a melee final blow, so you're always going to be getting your health back. If you want to choose something like Knockout instead of Drenger's Lash, you can definitely do that, as you're going to lose a Fragment Slot anyway, and that's going to be missing. So, yeah. In terms of stats to aim for, obviously Resilience first, and then I would go for Strength since I like throwing my shield. If you're like that and can afford triple 100s, I just go Discipline since I want to be Yao Ming. For the weapons of choice, you can literally use anything that you want as I mentioned in the beginning. I'm using Necrochasm since I have the gun and I like seeing shit explode. Plus, when I suspend stuff, it makes it easier to just chain the explosions and the cursed thrall shit since I can just keep them still and aim for the head. But if you don't have Necrochasm because you don't like to do Crota's End, you can definitely use something like Outbreak Prime since you also have Barrier Pulse Rifle if you're really not confident in the build. Plus, it's a bit easier to obtain. I'm also using the Ikela Sniper since it's a solar sniper and it works with the artifact mods this season that came out in Act 2. Plus, it's pretty saucy. And then for the heavy, it truly just does not matter. Just use your favorite heavy weapon. You can literally use like the colony if you really want. For the helmet mods, I'm going to be using hands-on since we can gain our super back faster off melee kills. And I like my super and I like getting kills with my melee. For the other two perks, it really doesn't matter. I just have heavy ammo finders just because I like shooting my heavy weapon. For the arms, I'm going to be using Heavy Handed to get an orb off my melee blows and melee kickstart so that when I expend my melee, if I have armor charges, I get my melee back even quicker. For the chest, it really doesn't matter, just use the corresponding damage type and put a resist on it or whatever. I have charges up just because I like more armor charges. For the legs, I have stacks on stacks to gain more armor charges when I pick up orbs, and then the soul scavenger so I get more sniper and rocket ammo since I'm using Apex Predator. On the class item, I'm using a reaper mod so that when I use it, I get an orb off my next kill, powerful attraction to pick up those orbs, and an outreach mod so that when I do pop my class ability, I get my melee back even sooner. For the artifact mods, if you're not a believer, you know, just equip whatever champion mod you want. This is really how my artifact is set up. It really doesn't matter what you choose. I guess the big one is shield crush since you're always going to have a void over shield. And because of it, your melee will recharge faster and deal more damage. Now with all that being said, how do I use the build? Well, I usually suspend with either my barricade or my grenade. And then you throw your shield in there to just jolt everything. And if they're not dead, they're still suspended and you can just shoot them with your sniper rifle, heavy weapon, or just kill them with like outbreak and spawn more nanites or necrochasm, just see everything explode in there. And depending on the cycle that you did, like if you did your shackle grenade and then your melee, you should have gotten a melee kill to spawn an orb, and then you can just pop your class item to collect all the orbs, throw your shield, expend the armor charges, get your melee back, and then that makes an orb, and then you shoot your gun, makes orb, collect it with your barricade, and so on. And if you haven't noticed, all these combos just literally took care of every single champion you could imagine. Unstoppable is taken care of by the suspend, and if you killed anything with your throwing shield, it will spawn a diamond lance, and you have that as backup to stun an unstoppable champion. You're gaining an overshield and radiant at the same time to take care of barriers, and when you throw your shield in there, it's jolting everything because of spirit of the contact, which will take care of the overloads. So you can kind of see how powerful this combo and build is, and this can comfortably dominate Grandmaster Nightfalls, and honestly any piece of content that you will play. And with that being said, make sure to like the video if you really enjoyed it, and comment down below if you made any tweaks to the build, if you really enjoyed it, and so on. And if you really like this build, make sure to check out the channel, because I have a lot of Titan, Warlock, and Hunter builds that are really unique and fun. And to not miss out on any future builds, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And with that being said, take care of yourself, take care of each other, Peace and love, baby.